Amen. So it's been a long time since she's been a son. Yeah. That's why when sinful behaviors come, you need to say, what was that? Amen. Amen. So what? You want to do it. You need to recognize right. where that come from. Right. Living. Yeah. There's Christ yeah. and the devil. Yeah. And you're stuck in the middle. Yeah. Satan lives in this flesh. Yeah. Right. He lives in this flesh. Yeah. Jesus lives deep in your heart. Yeah. 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 And you're going to have to get to recognize that. Yeah. 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 Verse 24. I'm almost done. Jesus. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Yeah. Got to provoke somebody. Mm. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another in so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifices for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. Wow. Jesus. Now you. You make the choice. Either I'm going to be a non-sinner or I'm going to be fearful that judgment's going to get me. Yes. All right. I'm going to have one over half your head. Amen. Amen. I'm taking non-sinner. Non he said, provoke one another to good works. Amen. And don't forsake the assembling of yourselves as the manner of some folk is. People wake up not going to church. I gotta close my book. You gotta be on crack to decide in this day not to go to church. It's got to be a mental a mental breakdown. No, no, hear me out. Listen to me, listen. Satan goes about like a roaring lion. Seek him, whom he made a vow, but the righteous are bold as a lion, and the righteous go to church. So if I decide not to go to church, I'm going to have a lion chasing me. Because my manner is to forsake the assembling of the brethren. Because I don't need new instruction. Right. Sam, if tomorrow comes, yeah. if Monday does come, uh -huh. what if God is going to test the whole world with this question, are you a sinner or not? Uh -huh. How many believers in the church are going to fail that test? Amen. 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 Think about it. Yeah. But the, the word of God says this, am I not the potter? Can I not do with the clay as I will? Amen. Don't you tell me how God is not going to allow you to be tested. He won't tempt you, but it's tested. He will test you. To see what's in your heart. So look at that saying, provoke one another to love. Because the manner of some people is, I don't have to go to church. God is in my heart. Yes, he's in your heart. But guess what? Sex is around the block. Yeah. <laughs> and your heart is about to go around the block. And we don't see what happens when your heart gets his block. Yeah. See, I don't know about you, but I'm not a sinner. Amen. But I still need this strength of a saint. Amen. I need to know everything God said. To know Satan's on the block next block. And I need to know if God is telling him to be stupid and walk into him or go to the other block. I don't need to be dumb. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. No weapon for him. God said, don't go down that block. Faith come by hearing and hear by the word of God. I'm trying. Everybody think it's like the devil's cookie cutter. Listen, he got tricks up his sleeve he ain't even use on you yet. The devil can get you to believe your own lie. Yes, yes. Come on now. 
Numbers 15, 27. We're getting out of here. Numbers 15, 27. Watch this, Deacon Mike. Because you see, you ever hear people talk about sin of commission? Sin of omission. Sin. Sin. Let's deal with sin. Jesus has removed all my sin. Sin of commission, sin of omission. I'm a committed sin. No. I'm an omitted sin. Omitted sin is over here. Committed sin is over here. Accidental sin is over here. Premeditated sin is over here. Come on. And Jesus got different ways for each one. Ah, committed. Omitted. Premeditated. Contemplated. Can you imagine that? You're thinking about sinning. And the Lord just come and zap you. Why? 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 You must think about sin. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was just being tempted. See? Come on, just because you're tempted don't mean you sin. Some of you be like, oh, what a terrible thought I had. Maybe it wasn't your thought. How many of you women here don't stink? <laughs> you remember the perfume with the puff? Now, if everybody closed their eyes and everybody started puffing, nobody would know where it came from. You don't always know where those thoughts are coming from, but you want to own them. Anybody want to co-sign for some sin? That's mine. That's my thought. Yeah, I want to steal that. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. Co-sign is the stuff that's not there. Wondering why you're walking weak and fearful. And when the situation comes your way, you don't have enough practice on discerning your thoughts from the enemy's thoughts. That's right. That's right. You say when you want to get married, and the first person of the opposite sex you think is yours. Please. Might as well be a dog then. That's right. Just because they male and you female don't mean you match. That's right. That's right. It's not the ASPSA, ASPCA. Amen. But when you're not, when you're not free from being sin conscious, Amen. Satan can talk to you and it sounds Amen. like the voice of the Lord. Amen. I don't, you know what? I'm, I'm almost gonna get upset and speak in tongues in English. <laughs> See, because some of y'all can't even hear God. It's Satan making you feel bad. You think it's God. How can Satan make you feel bad? He ain't your God. Yeah. That's like little, uh, what's his name? Prophet Charles Tyler telling Mrs. Santiago something. And she feel bad about it. Mrs. Santiago be like, hold up one minute. And she said, you're going to do something. Oh, yeah. And she's going to be like, can I see? Yes, yes, yes. How are you feeling the guilt of being a sinner when you ain't been a sinner in a long time? Doubting God's going to do something. Yeah. How are you going to doubt God? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> when you're not a sinner. Amen. Only sinners doubt God. Because they have no reason to believe Him. Amen. Amen. That's right. You're going to change everything. I'm leaving. Where am I? Numbers 15, 27. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a sheep goat of the first year for a sin offering. That's what I want y'all to do, that sin by, uh, what is it, commission or omission? I want you to start bringing some goats in here next Sunday. <laughs> if you sin by ignorance, I want to see your sheep goat. Come on. I want to hear next Sunday. <laughs> mistakes all day long. But the blood of Jesus has been cleansing us. I'm going to help 60 y'all. If you go around praying, Lord, forgive me of sins that I know and I don't know, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be thinking about sin. Your job as a believer is not to be thinking about sin. Your job as a believer is to be thinking about living right. Lord, forgive me of 
me for sins that I know of and I don't know of. And guess what? Second reading, you ain't like this. Let me tell you what you can know of. I'll tell you what you want to know? You want to know? You want to know? I can tell you. He's going to tell you all 40 things you don't know about. And guess what? You ain't coming out the next day. So being in a house like this, I just don't feel right. I don't feel like singing. I don't feel like ministering. I feel dirty. I, feel, I don't feel right. I don't feel right. Have you been, have you been drinking? What do you mean drinking? Satan has been slipping you some Yeah, that's right. How can you have a consciousness of sin? If Christ is not raised from the dead, then are we all in our sin. But if he has been raised from the dead, sin has no more victory over us. Yeah. How are you going to be constantly yeah. saying that Jesus is raised from the dead? Yeah. Some of you paying rent and you're married and your wife got the bill and she's nervous. It says you owe $43,000 on rent and she believes what she wrote. And you come in the house and you know you paid that bill and she crying, shaking like a leaf. And you pick up that and say, don't you this. I paid for that. Yeah. Don't you ever worry about that bill. Yeah. You are worried about sin I've been paid for. Right. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. This is a deliverance, sir. Hallelujah. You got to walk with your head up. Hallelujah. You got no time to worry about sin. Oh. Made a mistake. Give me a prayer. I think the blood of Jesus cleanses me of all unrighteousness. I can't be sin conscious. I got the God conscious. Preaching better than six dollars. I gotta close. Ecclesiastes again. It's gotta be here somewhere. Amen. I don't even have a first page. I got somebody real good and said, don't, don't, don't you have to put your head down again. When you're feeling bad, you gotta understand, when you're feeling bad with a sin issue, you really got a problem with a righteousness issue. Wow. You have to ask yourself a question. It takes time. It takes time to believe that God is greater than the devil. Amen. It takes time. Because you've been you've been living with the death for most of your life. So doubting God, it comes quicker. But he's not greater. Than God. Amen. That's why you need a friend that's thinking closer than a brother. So that when you're thinking that you're all that bad, this friend of yours can come and say, You got the wrong God. Amen. You don't have time to be thinking about sin. All you need is to be thinking about faith in God, Amen. not fear in the devil. Yes. See, if that's the case, all your life, you just be dotting your eyes and crossing your teeth and teasing, you'll never be walking in faith. Those that walk in faith don't try to get their life together. They try to obey the one that follows. Amen. 